the ESRB tried to douse the flames of controversy a bit this week by stating that loot boxes aren't gambling, but accidentally sprayed gasoline all over the place instead. That news, plus the continued death of Denuvo DRM, first details on Respawn's new VR game, a look at Frontier's Jurassic Park builder, Eve's loosening free-to-play restrictions, and more below. This is gaming news for October 9-13. Freakend. As per usual, a bunch of games are going free to try this weekend. If you've somehow managed to avoid building a backlog of a billion games this fall, it might be worth your time to grab these pseudo-demos. On Steam, you're looking at Day of Infamy, the World War II multiplayer game from the Insurgency devs. If you want something more tactical than Call of Duty and fresher than Red Orchestra, take a look. Further reading, these 20 absorbing PC games will eat days of your life. Mentioned in this article. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. $29.99 MSRP $59.99 view in Amazon. And if you have Uplay installed, you can try out Ghost Recon Wildlands this weekend. Wildlands added its 4v4 deathmatch mode this week, which is the reason for the promotion, though the base game is also available to test out until Sunday. The game is on sale for half off this weekend too. Endless, RPG, lands. Or if you're looking for some low-cost gaming, might I recommend the awkwardly named Humble Endless RPG Lands Bundle. Seriously, it's the worst name, but paying more than the average, $5 at the moment, nets you Borderlands, Borderlands 2 Van Helsing, Guild of Dungeoneering, Worm Unlimited, and the excellent Endless Legend. Paying $10 will toss a copy of Borderlands, the pre-sequel on top, but you can probably skip that. Frogged DNA Jurassic Park Evolution has quickly rocketed up my most anticipated list. A Jurassic Park theme park builder from the same devs who did Planet Coaster? Yeah, okay. This week you can get a first look at in-game footage, though it's more slow panning shots of dinosaurs, and less putting in electrified fences and laying down jeep tracks.